I am a computational plasma physicist. I study the numerical modeling of charged particles and how they interact with each other. Plasma is the fourth state of matter, so it tends to be that it's in a very energetic state. You start with a solid and you add energy to it and it turns into a liquid. You add even more energy and it vaporizes into a gas and then you add more energy and it actually breaks down into its constitutive elements of ions and electrons and that's the plasma state. Plasmas have a wide variety of applications in science and engineering in general. Plasmas are used in semiconductor fabrication. They are used for sterilization of surfaces compact fluorescent tubes that you see for lighting your house. Modern thrusters for spacecrafts are all based on plasmas to give very efficient thrusts for maintaining orbit or for actually doing very long missions within space. Plasmas are an interesting beast. Taking a measurement actually tends to corrupt the system you're trying to measure in a plasma. It tends to influence the system you're trying to measure. And so we use numerical tools to help us design these complex systems to optimize a given process to get an outcome we're looking for. Plasma is a sandbox. It's a beautiful sandbox. Anything that happens in nature probably happens in a plasma. And so it gives you all these things from quantum mechanics all the way through continuum models to study and, and interact with. And then uh, analysis gives you the tools from a mathematical perspective and how you take that model and translate those models that you've written down in the first place into something you can actually put in the computers. Computers are good at adding, subtracting, dividing, and multiplying, but they're not very good at manipulating equations. What I study is that process of translating the model into something the computer can use. The impact of my research is really to be an enabling technology to understand new science through computation. The goal is to develop tools that will allow us to explore problems that we couldn't previously understand. And so by developing new algorithms and looking at things in different ways and how you map to these new computers, we do make it possible to look at much larger scale problems than we could look at before. Computational science is really coming into its own and is really providing the a foundation of exploratory science but in a computational environment.